Yeah, I better film the drive-in because you know the drive-in. <laughs> the um because uh, I know you want all this sort of stuff, you know. Oh look at the rutsage over there. Oh yeah, it's definitely uh yeah, when we when we spend time down there on the Tinjo, we'll I think we'll just walk back up here and have a look at uh, the stuff on the edge there, that'll be interesting. But uh Yeah. See I wanted to go down in there. And I might even actually be able to do it fellas. Make it a little bit more interesting for you fellas. Well, I mean, we do know that the old bubble can take 300 kilos. So, uh, you know, if the average person is, you know, 85 kilos or 200, you know, it's at least three people, maybe uh, two skinnies and a one rotund, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, looks in, I don't know. We'll just take a look. Um, we'll keep the clip running, eh? Well, I better close the car off anyway, you never know. Make sure the lights are off because it is one of those dull days. I've had the lights on, you don't want to come back to the car and find oh god, we've got a flat battery. Let me go, yeah. Well, but then again, the way technology is going these days, cars could be run on flat batteries <laughs> physically flat, yeah, rather than voltaically flat. Oh, yes, um, well that definitely is a good, good vista shot, I reckon that's, that's got to be a screenshot surely, just looking down at these uh, Pinus Radiata or Monterey Pines, Monterey or is it Monterey, I can't, look it up, don't quote me on this, look it up, oh jeez, being ruined by that little bloody twig, <laughs> twig there, but, uh, and there's a bit of a echo yes so that must be the echo that must be the sound coming back off the bark of the tr of all those trees it's like a water it's like a, a you know a, a segregated wall now what am i trying to think broken up wall you know yeah one more time for posterity echo no 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 actual bounce back but uh, <laughs> Oh, things I do. Oh, well, you know, could become a trend. Yeah. <sighs> Richard, it was such a trendsetter. Let's <laughs> do it with a gay accent. Oh, Richard, so I can't do it now. I'm laughing too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, as tough as old nose, and as I said, you anyway, wait first two uh, weeks of August. When we get the coldest night, I mean, how cold are they going to be? Is it going to be... You see, you can see a little bit of that purpley colour coming on that leaf there. That The whole plant will go like that. That's what I'm saying. So maybe uh, 9 degrees... Well, didn't I say 8 degrees was the cutoff for, you know, uh, things for Jemmy and all that sort of stuff? So, you know, I think I'm in the ballpark. I think I have done enough. I, have to, I think I've seen enough, I've done enough experimentation, you know, to say I have a, 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 a fair degree of knowledge, you know, and uh, yeah, I reckon I can, you know, once I've proved the experiments work and everything like that, and you'll be amazed at probably what's going to happen, then I'll, you know, I'll write the... Maybe I'll run it in parallel, I'll write the thesis and a bit like, um, is it Tim Bailey's book? He wrote the book and then he basically got, got it republished, you know, as a Tim McPherson thing. Maybe I, maybe that's what I ought to do, is write the thesis and then just get the thesis republished as a um, Red Fern publication or something like that. But, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to get to about there, I think, and... Uh, um, call it quits. I think the area back there is more interesting and uh, I'm just amazed at how far I go so quickly. I mean, as I said, you know, I'm six foot but I don't look six foot. There's all these seeming disparities in my life, you know. 
you know, you measure me, I'm six foot. Well, I was back then when I was 17, sort of thing. And, um, but I, I don't look it, you know, it's, you know, you're not six foot, and then they get the tape measure. Oh, oh, you don't look six foot. <laughs> it's this one of those sort of situations. But, uh, oh no, just, yeah, my whole life has been like that, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're saying, oh, a plant can move faster than the eye can see, and no one's believing you. You, you do this and that, and <sighs> yeah. I said, as I said, you know, I reckon that what's going to happen. I'm the way I'm looking. I'm going to like bend the past of my life back forwards and say that if I do grow Venus flytraps with four-inch traps, no one's going to believe me. I mean, how am I going to believe me? Do I put a matchbox inside one of the traps and they'll say, oh, it's a, they'll be saying it's a bloody fake matchbox or something. I mean, I suppose I've got to think about this because if it happens, it's going to happen pretty down, you know, sometime the next you know, few years. If it's not this season, it might be the next, you know. You know, this season might be growing them to large size uh, bulbs from ordinary plants and then the next season will be when I get the four inch traps sort of thing. I don't know, but if I do, I've got to be able to prove that they're four inches. Uh, you know, if I use a ruler, they'll say, oh, that's a made up ruler. I mean, if I put my hand next to them, they'll say, it's a, you know, it's a trick for trick photograph. Um, how do you categorically get an image where they know it can't be faked? I mean, maybe I should be talking to a UFO spotter. You know, or someone who actually is involved in that, who's been dealing with these sort of, you know, photographs for years and saying, well, you can tell this is a fake photograph because, and you can tell this is real because, you know. Uh, maybe in a little bit interesting down there, maybe more down there, but I reckon it's easy just to use the Tingella trail and it looks more interesting very quickly sort of thing, so... I think that's what we'll do fellas, we'll just stick to the Tingella Trail, maybe have a bit of a squeeze down here if we're really happy with the Tingella Trail, you know. But uh, as I said, I've always been wanting to come down here to see what it was like. I've seen what it's like, it's not as interesting as I thought it would be, but you know, I think the Tingella Trail is more interesting than this, you know. And wow, look at that. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. is so seen. Wow. Well, that doesn't look like, that could almost be Kentucky bluegrass for all I know. It doesn't look like young Xanthor is. They're not tough, it doesn't look tough enough, but spectacular coloration on it. Now that's Glaucus, I, I mean that's what I'm talking about, Glaucus. That's sort of bluey green. So, uh, as I said, we filmed what we thought were uh, young Xanthor seedlings back at... Um, the stringy bark track, I think that's what it was called, uh, a few weeks ago. So uh, we know what they look like, and they've got the same similar colour, but they were a lot tougher, and the leaves are slightly. That looks like it could be Kentucky bluegrass or something. So Festuca glauca, if my memory serves me correctly. But uh, yeah. Anyway. Maybe I should run the clip short here so we've got plenty of footage for up there when we go and looking for the, the pygmies, which will be the next stop then up the road there. So they'll be the, if they are going to be anything, they'll be um, the red, the, the book from row red, red form, and we'll be able to compare that hopefully. I'll try and get some close ups for Gideon to make some little short clips we can probably cut a few screenshots out of uh, so he can check and we can see that, well, maybe the ones here are also the same as the ones down at. Um, Mount Compass, but they're not the same as the ones at Mount Bulb. Maybe we might find they're all the same or something. It's just different colour variations of the same. Or they may be totally different. You never know. You might find this population is, has the same colour as the ones down at Mount Compass, but the leaves are slightly different in shape or articulation in some way. I don't know until we take the close-ups, count out the screenshots, we won't know. I think that's what Gideon's after. Though I suspect he's after. He wants to see something else in the pictures, I think. Something that's related to his uh, all green form that uh, is now, I suppose it's official, it's the second fastest sundew in the world, uh, under under the glid. Yeah. 
So I don't think you're going to beat the glid, you know. From an ecology point of view, I doubt you're going to beat the glid because one, it's already ten times, well, it was ten times faster than anything on any, any other continent, and that's not even its top speed. They even haven't even cracked up the temperature to Australian standards. I mean, they're doing this overseas, you know. <laughs> For all we know, they could be doing it nine degrees in the bloody lab, like out here, sort of thing. You know, and uh, crank it up to 45 degrees, fellas, and keep it at 45 degrees. And what with the new information that I'm assuming Gideon's going to give us, you're going to make be able to make them snap off whenever you want, wherever you want. And geez, I really do like the colour of those. They really are nice. Make me come back here in the first two weeks of August, and we'll have a look at these ones again and see if they have gone to that nice purple colour. Oh, well there you go. Lucky I didn't shut the camera off, eh? Slightly colourful ones, but they're probably going to lose some of that colour, I reckon. Looks like they were... It's almost like those Venus flytraps. It almost looks like it's water-soluble. <laughs> oh, we just, we, we just dab a bit of paint on the plants. Customer doesn't even know. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we'll move on here. Up here. Well, we, if we had way away, we'd make them glow in the dark, you know. <laughs> but then the, the public would twig, so we don't go that far. We just make them fluorescent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would love to call one Saracenia Chernobyl, but that would be giving the game away. <laughs> yeah, it's all a load of Chernobyl. Maybe, maybe I should... Yeah, I reckon I can put Chernobyl into a clip title. <laughs> Anyway, let's go up the road, over and out.